Oh, here I am up in the attic. Gotta keep it running. That even means houses, air conditioners. So today I'm gonna try to replace the circuit board, which is the blower control board inside my air conditioner. And yeah, it kind of has some problems. I think last year when I replaced the blower motor in this, some water, either condensation or something dripped on the circuit board and now it's kind of acting funny. Things like the, the heat was wanting to come on when the air was on and uh, in the winter time when the heat was on and would shut off, the blower would keep running. So I think all it has to do with uh, the digital circuit board in there. So we're gonna replace that and see how it goes. And maybe this will help you, maybe it won't. But anyway, that's it. We'll see how it happens, see what happens. All right, so there's the digital circuit board that's in here. Um, if your circuit board does have problems like mine did, and the heat was wanting to come on while the air was supposed to be on, so middle of summer and you don't want your heat firing off, I did have an AC guy come out here and just take a look at it. And his first thing to do was to take this white wire right here, which connects to the, the white terminal. And oh yeah, by the way, before you open this up and get your little fingers in here and stuff, uh, make sure you shut off power. That's what this switch right here goes to. It goes down and kills all the power coming into this. Um, still be careful. There could be some capacitors that hold the charge. I don't know. But as far as this goes, this is just the white wire coming from the thermostat. The white wire is what sends the signal from the thermostat to the, the digital board telling the furnace thing to kick on and so that's disconnected uh, the other thing that I had done is took this I went in here to the ignition module thing and I just turned this to off just to make sure there was no chance that the the burners would kick on while I was um, while the air was running before I had replaced the digital board so if you're going to do this, the first thing you need to do is make sure you either make a note or take a picture of the location of everything and what's used and what's not used. Um, now the, the wires from the thermostat are pretty easy because they're color coded. Yeah. So you have four wires coming from the thermostat, which come in on this one. Then you have two wires that go out to the unit outside. So even though this is red, it's hooked to the C, and the other one is a white, and it's hooked to the yellow. Um, so those are the two that are kind of different. But these over here, there's the yellow, the green, the red, and my white. Those are the ones that are gonna hook to the yellow, let's see, green, yellow, white, red. And this blue wire here, yeah, he's not used. Okay, then we look over here. We have a large six pin plug right there. We've got a light blue, looks like a black or purple. So the light blue goes to the heat. The purple or black goes to the cool. And then up here at the top, these are definitely two black wires. I'm sorry, those are definitely two black wires. And they're going to whatever those two spots are up there at the top. And then we have a black wire right here, which goes to D1. And a red wire right underneath him goes to hmm, I don't know, the one that says unused. That makes sense. And then we have Looks like a main power coming in. And another white wire right here. Another white wire. And a smaller white wire below him. And a yellow wire. Anyway, there's there's a bunch of little wires and stuff. Now one of the reasons I was thinking this guy might be having trouble. Um, this resistor right down here. He looks like he got really warm one day. Um, but anyway. So the other way 
So if I'm going to be changing wires over, the thing I'm going to want to do is take the old board and have him loose and out. Take my new board, put him in behind there a little bit, and then do a one-for-one -one swap with each one of the wires. Um, particularly these wires over here because they're not labeled. Um, so I want to make sure I do a one-for-one. -one. These wires over here, that's pretty easy. And the six-pin plug, he's pretty easy. But all these spade connector wires, those are what I'm more concerned with. So we're going to do that here in a minute. Let me get set up. Okay, so now I've taken out the, uh, the four screws. One up there, two, three, four. And this whole board will kind of pull out a little bit. Okay, so... Other thing, looking at the back of it, you see where some water had kind of gotten on that. And it really looks... Looks pretty yucky in there. So here's my new board right here. I ordered it off of Amazon and other than a few colors looking different and a few of the components laid out a little bit differently, he looks pretty much the same. All the connectors are about the same or as close as I can figure. So let's start off by um, changing what we can. Okay, so like I say, you're gonna just change, do a one for one swap as you disconnect one wire, disconnect a wire here, you're gonna plug them into that same location on the board here. So one, one for one. Okay, um, you guys don't need to see me do all that. It's pretty simple. If I run into any problems or something that looks confusing, I'll do a little video and tell you about it. All right, so now we've replaced um, the, all the wires that are on the right side of the board, including this six pin plug. Here's the old board hanging out. Um, the only thing I got left to change in him is the thermostat wires and the two wires going out to the outside unit. Okay, I still haven't mounted my board up in there yet, but I uh, just did a one for one swap out of these guys. Um, one of these pins down here is kind of funky. He was uh, this yellow one right here. He had another pin kind of ganged off him. So there's actually two pins or two wires connected to the one pin. So yours might be like that, maybe it's not. All right, so then all this goes back up in here. Uh, in fact, I think I'm gonna go ahead and mount that board and then I'll disconnect the one for the wires for the thermostat and mount those onto the board. All right, be back in a minute. So the only other thing about this that, uh, as I'm going on, I'm out of the board, I want to tell you is that the um, paperwork that came with this card, man, it's like 5 million degrees up here right now. Okay, this, it is, and it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon, that's why. All right, so um, the paperwork that came with this board said the delay switch right here, this blue thing, which it's, it's red on the old one, um, has two little switches on it. There's a, there's a one and a two and on when it is to the right, off is to the left. And the paperwork said it was came with a uh, already set in the 60 second delay. Now that's the delay time from when your burner kicks on until the fan kicks on. So oh, that way you don't have, as soon as your heat turns on, if you had zero delay, you'd have a little bit of cold air blowing out of your pipes before the heat actually had a chance to heat things up. So, um, like I said, the paperwork said it had a 60 second delay already preset, but it was actually a 90 second delay based on the, the uh, switches up in here. So right now, yeah, I don't think you can really get a good view of it, but, uh, so I changed mine to a 60 second delay, which matches what my old board had. Um, 60 second is what it's supposed to have been defaulted from from the factory so um, yeah I don't have the paperwork up here with me right now to show that but anyway that's one more thing to talk to you talk to you about um, now I'm just gonna be swapping over these wires here okay, this is the red wire from the outside unit he's gonna go to this top one right here and then I'll go so forth and so on down there all right so get that done all right, so now I've got all these guys put back on here. Um, did have a terminal lug for the yellow and white wire right there. 
but these are captive screws, meaning they don't want to come out all the way when you take them out. So I just cut the terminal lug off, strip the wire back and put them on there, wrapped them around. Um, so that's all good. I've got all my four screws holding the circuit card in. Let's go ahead and turn my ignition module back on. And he's plugged in good. All right, so now I just need to button him up, put the cover back on him and turn him on, see how it goes. It's warm in here. Like I said, it's only about 5 million degrees. So anyway, very warm in here. Uh, can't really tell from the video, but I feel like I've just gotten out of a pool soaking wet. So hopefully this works and we don't have to be up here again this year. All right. Uh, one, one other thing that uh, you may want to know, and all air conditioners are different, but um, sorry, bouncing around there. This air conditioner, the to get to here where my circuit card is, was pretty easy. I just took out the two screws, pushed up on this a little bit, and then this panel came right out. This panel here will come out at any time just by lifting up on it and pulling out. But be aware when you do that, there is, hmm, I must be thinking of an old air conditioner. I thought there was an interlock switch in here, but uh, apparently there's not. Anyway, but you don't have to necessarily take this panel out to get to the section that has the circuit card in it. And a lot of these just lift up and push down in place. <clears throat> so now we're all ready for that. I guess we will turn it on and hopefully if there's any explosions or magic smoke escapes, it'll all stay inside there. So now I'm just going to go up to my little switch right here, turn him on, and wait and see what happens. Here's something going on in there. Sounds normal. So as I'm gathering up my tools, Hopefully we'll hear a compressor kick on and I think I hear Freon flowing through the low pressure line right now. Um, oh. Alright, so, so you guys know. Let's see, where are we? This year, from the way I was explained to me, this is your low pressure line. And it's already starting to feel a little bit cooler. This is your high pressure line. I don't know which one goes which way. The low pressure one, when you're outside looking at it, should, uh, well, the way the guy described it to me, should be bottleneck cold. Like the beer bottle, the neck of a beer bottle when you take it out of the fridge and it kind of condenses just a little bit of moisture on it. That's how this guy should be. And he's already feeling cold. I feel a little bit of an air leak around here, so I probably need to goop that up with something. This is your air handler, the top part up here. It handles the air before it goes out to the different ventilation ducts. And then this is the where the condensa condensation inside their handler is supposed to drain out and goes all the way down and outside. So anyway, feels like we got uh, good things going on. I feel cool air coming out up here. So I think that our circuit card replacement was a fix. And that's good because now I'm ready to go somewhere where it's nice and cool, not a million degrees. I feel like I'm standing next to the sun. And hopefully this works out for you. And uh, like I said, keeping it running is not just about cars, but it's about anything you own. Um, it's a lot cheaper to keep it running in most cases than it is to have somebody, other than to buy a new thing. Sometimes keeping it running is having somebody else do the repairs, but I like to do a lot of mine myself. That circuit card I bought today was $134 off Amazon. So pretty reasonably priced. priced. Um, yeah, if you got questions, you can uh, message me on the channel. Um, I'll get back to you. Uh, otherwise, have a great day. Here's the paperwork for those, uh, that delay switch. You can see, uh, depending on which position the two switches are on. Here's your two switches. The on position is closest to the number in this drawing. But if you're looking at the card as it's mounted, on would be to the right. So. It says default when shipped is 60 seconds. Position one should be off. And position two should be on. 
Uh, mine was not that. Mine was just the opposite. Mine was a 90 second delay, so I think somebody just got them mixed up. Either way, it's not that big a deal. It's just how your uh, heater blower control delay. So, anyway, I wanted to show that to you. Thanks for watching.